is ever writing good poetry looks just to art. He does not write for you or me, for London or for Edinburgh. He will not suffer the best critic known to step into sunshine of free thought in self-absorbed conception and exact an inch long swerving of the holy lines. If virtue is done for popularity, defies device, can art for praise or hire still keep its splendor and remain pure art? As choose some serfdom, what the poet writes, he writes. Mankind accepts it if it suits and not success. If not, the poems pass from hand to hand, and yet from hand to hand, until the unborn snatch it, crying out in a pity on their fathers being so dull and not so Because not only did Barrett Browning use the work to interact with other Victorian poets, but she also created a feminist consciousness before one was available to her. In lines 251 through 266 of Book 5, Aurora writes to poets whose work is too progressive for the time in which they live. This is especially apparent in lines 263 through 267. The poet writes, he writes, mankind accepts it if it suits and not success. If not, the poems pass from hand to hand, and yet from hand to hand, until the unborn snatch it, crying out in a pity on their fathers being so dull, and not success. Interestingly enough, Aurora uses the male pronoun when she speaks about poets as demonstrated in lines 251 through 254. He does not write for you or me, for London or for Edinburgh. He will not suffer the best critic known to step into sunshine. Aurora is giving advice to poets in general, but also speaking to herself, though she calls herself a man. As Barbara Chelsworth Gelb points out in her essay, Aurora Lee, The Vocation of the Woman Poet, Aurora actually sees all artists as men. This is because art has been so male-dominated in her life that the idea of a female artist is foreign to her. The concepts of feminism aren't available to her yet. There are many instances in the poem where Aurora masculinizes herself. She imagines herself as a Trojan prince in Book One. To masculinize all poets, even the female poets to who these lines may be referring to, is not beyond her. 